Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this mix and match pine tree design. We're going to need an assortment of polishes. The ones I've used are pictured here. I'll also list them below in the description for you and you'll need a thin art brush. We're going to start out first with a base that's fully dry. In my case I'm using this light beige base. I've put some dark brown polish on a piece of tinfoil and I'm using my thin art brush to sketch in the branches. Now I do a couple of groupings of branches. I do have them pointing towards the tip and I just have them going on opposite angles just to add some dimension to the design. Now I would always say less is more, so if you're not sure how many branches you're going to need, just add a few. You can always add more as you continue building your design. It's a lot easier to add more as opposed to taking away some if you've put too many on your nail. We're also going to add in these kind of long oval shapes for the pine cone base and I'm using that same dark brown polish. Again, just add a few to start. You can always add more as you build in your design. Moving on now to the greenery, I've put some green polish on a piece of tinfoil and you'll see I'm just carefully adding really thin lines on the branch and you'll see to get a nice thin line like this you're just going to very lightly take your brush across your nail and it's really important to have fresh polish so I keep adding fresh polish to that piece of tinfoil just to keep those lines nice and thin. One of the other tricks to keep that polish nice and thin, I'll typically dip my brush into acetone and then drag it through the polish that's placed on the tinfoil and that really helps keep it nice and thin which is important when you want these thin thin lines on your nail. As you continue adding in your greenery, you're going to find that some of your greenery is going to overlap, which is fine. It just adds to the dimension of the design. Now we're going to clean off our brush and we're going to switch over to that light brown polish that you're using. This is darker than the base color, but lighter than the pine cone color. And you'll see I'm just dabbing in little dots. They're not perfect circles, but they really add some dimension to the pine cones on your nail. It's really important to make sure this is fully dry before you apply your top coat or you're just going to smudge those little dabs. So continue adding your greenery. In my case I wanted to really fill my full nail. I didn't want a lot of that beige base color peeking through. So once I add the greenery to the branches, I'm then just filling in the left behind area just with some more greenery kind of peeking out from the side. And that's it for this one guys. I really hope you like it. This is probably one of my favorite holiday designs that I've done. So thanks so much for watching. Please leave me some comments below. Thumbs up and new subscribers are always welcome.